Hello, this is Daniel Leitchis, and I'm going to explain Ito's lemma, which is important because it is used uh, to find the differential um, of a time-dependent function of a stochastic process. And if you'll notice, that's exactly what we do in the Black-Scholes equation. Um, there's a stochastic process, which is the randomness of uh, distributions of stocks. Returns. And, you, and we want to find the time differential of that, and um, we use Ito's lemma. So I'm going to explain it. Um, so let's say that we have a differential equation um, of a value x, or of a function x, and uh, we say there's a component that depends on time and depends on randomness. Um, so differential respect to x equals uh, a differential respect to t plus b differential respect to z, where a can be a function of x and t, and b can be a function of x and t as well. Then we have a function of x and t that is twice differentiable. So because of that, we can use our Taylor expansion to expand the differential of our function of x and t, which would be the partial of f with respect to t dt plus the partial of f with respect to x dx um, plus one half the second partial of f with respect to x dx squared plus one half the second partial of f with respect to t dt squared um, and then you'll have two one-halves f uh, with respect to t and x dt dx and because there's two of them we'll combine them and just make one. And you will have higher order terms of course but we're going to neglect them. Next what we're going to do is we're going to sub in this equation for every single dx we have. And as you can see we subbed it in here for here. Here we subbed it in here and we subbed it in here for here. The next step requires a leap, and I'm going to explain that leap. The star, as you can see, as dt goes to zero, dt squared and dt dz go to zero, and dz squared goes to dt. And the reason for that is because dz represents a uh, Brownian motion. It represents a random variable. Um, so if you want to uh, see more about the reason, you can look up uh, Wiener process and Brownian motion. But um, this is uh, um, the big leap that we have to take in this step. And because we take that leap, we can do all the substitutions. Um, I'm not going to go through all the substitutions, but you get um, partial of f with respect to t uh, dt. And you can see it's a lot simpler now. And you can see there are a bunch of things with, res with respect to t and then one thing with respect to z. So we're going to change it in the form of all of this with respect to t plus this with respect to z. And as you can see, the differential of f, which is a function of x and t, is now has a deterministic component, which uh, is dependent on time, and it has a stochastic component, which is dependent upon um, randomness, where the z represents randomness. Now, uh, to use this to, to put this into the Black-Scholes equation, um, you can see we have the uh, where v is um, the value of a stock. And uh, uh, we will claim that um, the differential of the value of a stock, it's um, going to be related to something that's related to the time, um, and it's going to be related uh, to um, the mean return of the stock, and finally we're going to relate it to something that's uh, a random variable, and that's related to um, the price of the stock and also the, um, ran the um, volatility of the stock. So we can see down here we have a, um, a similar form to this, so we're going to make these substitutions, um, random variable for random va variable and f for c, where c is the value of an option, and x for v. And we get this formula right here, which is what we will use to um, solve the Black-Scholes equation, or to derive the Black-Scholes equation. Uh, thanks for listening, and um, watch another video if you want to um, see the rest of the steps of deriving the Black-Scholes equation. Bye-bye.